even more than last night. Uh, what uh, helped you swing the bat so effectively today, especially early in the game, to uh, knock their starter out of the game? Seeing the ball really well. I think we um, didn't swing at too many bad pitches. I can't remember a swing and miss, maybe one all day. So uh, when we swung the bat, um, we made contact and made good contact. So um, I've said it all year. This is this is a potent offense, you know, and, and we go up and down. It seems like we're peaking right now. So um, you know, it was good to see. What was there a carryover hitting wise from last night from tonight? Do you feel like? Um, yeah, I thought we hit the ball well uh, last week. I mean, we faced a, an All American against Clemson, but the Notre Dame we swung the bats well. Uh, Syracuse we swung the bats well. Uh, BYU um, today. So I mean, we're clicking pretty good. What's the mindset okay. now? Obviously, you're in the regional finals here. You've knocked off the uh, number 15 overall seed. Uh, you know, do you look around this locker room and go, hey, guys, now, you know, this we're one win away from the Super Regionals here. What, what's the message to the team? Stay the course. Uh, we never look ahead in anything we do. So we're going to get some rest tonight and uh, do the same routine we've, you know, done since we've been here. And uh, be ready to play the first game tomorrow. I mean, there, there's never going to be a talk from me about Super Regionals. That's, that's not going to happen until you actually win it. Uh, to win this game, though, that I mean, obviously, as you know, that's huge. Now you go into tomorrow, you, you know, you got to they got to beat you. Whoever the team is, they got to beat you twice tomorrow. You know, how much of a different is it, you know, mindset wise, attitude wise to go, you know, to to have one to be two and oh and going into the regional finals? I mean, it's better than being one and two or, uh, you know, one and one. So um, but, yeah, it's just our mindset doesn't change based on the game that we play. So uh, we'll watch film tonight. We'll watch film tomorrow and, um, and be ready to go. Thank you. Uh, Eric. Coach, uh, tell me about uh, Richard's performance, what you think of it. I know you were, you thought she could be better from yesterday. What did you think of her today? She was way sharper. Uh, she had command of her changeup. Um, lost it at times, but but found it. Uh, you can see, I don't know, maybe she walked one. I, I, I can't remember the box score, uh, but no hit by pitches. Um, she made kids uh, swing the bat and uh, put the ball in play. And, and our defense made some good plays. So she was sharper, um, good velocity, change up was good. Um, she moved the rise up and down. So uh, she looked, uh, that was probably the best game she's pitched since uh, one of the Syracuse games. What does it say about her as a competitor? You know, the, the two days yesterday didn't have her best stuff, but found a way to win. And today, you know, against a really good offense in Arizona State, holding them to two runs. She, she, uh, she recovers quickly. Um, I'm not, a, and you guys know this, I'm not a big rah-rah speech kind of guy. And last night I just said, uh, Healy's going to throw better tomorrow. <laughs> and I think she might have taken that to heart and uh, might have might have uh, ticked her off a little bit, but she did. I knew she would. I mean, and I've said this a lot this year that she gets better as she throws. And, um, you know, tomorrow I'm expecting her to be sharp again. When you say she, she gets better as she throws more, is she one of those that needs the workload and maybe doesn't benefit from too much of a time off? Yeah, she doesn't do well at time off, I don't think. Um, the more she throws, the better she gets. She's, she's a throwback. <laughs> like the, uh, you know, the kids, the, the Moets or Moats and the, the Dan Lorries and, you know, those kids that threw all the time um, about 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And um, she's, just a, she's just a throwback pitcher. Yeah, I would say Hokie fans probably remember Angela Tincher, remind them of, of her as well. That's uh, She was another throwback. That's a one. Your offense, where do you feel your offense is right now? It seems like they were comfortable at the plate. I don't know if it's the, the stadium there, or just the, but they felt real comfortable watching it. Did, did you sense that today? I did. Um, you know, we, we didn't seem like we were uh, were jumpy and uh, swung at the right pitches. It was just way, way different. I said this last night. It's way different than two years ago just a different feel for us. You know, it's um, there's a sense of belonging that we belong here and um, you know, we're going to go compete and uh, I don't see any, any, any big eyes anymore. So, um, you know, it's just the evolution of the program and uh, hopefully it continues tomorrow. The sense, and I talking to Keatley there was there's a, a sense of, Hey, we, we haven't done anything yet. You know, and how much of that goes back to two years ago where you even mentioned that there were some opportunities there lost in that regional, yeah. I feel like this group has kind of learned from that and they're not taking anything for granted. Do you sense that as well? Yeah, we, we, uh, I don't let them take things for granted. 
it's just uh, it's a cornerstone of our program. We work for what we get. Uh, we're appreciative, uh, but we never take anything for granted. So um, tomorrow could be is, is a new day, and we have to uh, take advantage of opportunities like we always do. Thank you, uh, Jermaine. Good afternoon, Coach. Uh, first of all, I just want to tell you congratulations on the birth of your newborn. Well deserved, I'm sure, sir. Thank and uh, just got to ask you, how just big is it? You know, and giving you confidence. I mean, when you guys jumped on them early and just seemed like you, you you pretty much put the pedal to the metal throughout the whole time, didn't rest on the early lead and just kept going. How big is it to have that mindset that you've instilled in this team? It's, it's a big deal. Um, you know, going into this game, we were, and I kind of played the under, underdog card a little bit, and I never do, and Keely just said we never think we're underdogs, but I said a little bit. Nobody in the stadium think, thinks we should be here in, in, as a as a uh, – you know, playing against Arizona State, they're going to hit a bunch of home runs and all that. You know, I just played that card up. Um, but it, it, it speaks just to the evolution of, of what we're trying to do and uh, be comfortable in games like this. And that's that's how you keep building on to uh, bigger and better things. Thank you, sir. Thank Good you. luck tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, Chip. Yeah, so, uh, Coach, you uh, – team struck out – twice yesterday i think once today 12 hits yesterday 14 hits today i mean in your wildest dreams even you didn't think that was going to happen did you um nothing surprises me with my offense <laughs> and, and and i say it uh, and i've said this in the fall this is one of the best offenses i've ever been a part of and so um when that and, and that that includes the 19 team when we hit 340 100 home runs or whatever we did so um, the anxiousness of, of just seeing pitches and putting them in play is, um, it's where a lot of our strikeouts come from. And so when we let them swing pitches that we should and stay with our approach, uh, strikeouts go down for us. We're not afraid to hit with two strikes. And, and sometimes we're, we, if we do hit with two strikes, that's when, when the case comes. So, um, it's not surprising that we struck out so little, uh, if you look at our, at our offense, um, total strikeouts, we're under 200 for the year. And I, I think we don't have any with two, uh, 20 strikeouts. Nobody in our lineup has 20 strikeouts. I mean, that's a big deal. We can hit. So, um, you know, we just got to hit our pitch. All right. So probably a silly question, but I'm going to ask it. You've got uh, one game to play with tomorrow. Do you ever even consider not pitching Keeley in game one? Uh, ask me in about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we'll do yet. I, I really don't. Um, no. Wasn't trying to get any secrets. Sorry. I know. I, know. I just uh, I, I don't know yet. Um, the thought has crossed my mind. Let me let me tell you that. But like I, I wasn't sitting there this morning and saying if we win against Arizona State, who I pitch tomorrow, because I was just saying let's play Arizona State today. I'll sure. figure that. Out. So um, that's kind of what we do, and um, you know I wasn't looking too far ahead today. Well, congratulations, and let me just tell you, you're making it hard for me not to cheer from the press box. <laughs> uh, anybody have a final question for Coach?